We see in this opening sequence where Gilligan is practicing his golf swings, he's standing in a relatively open area. You can see the various materials and tools around him, but it's kind of an open area. And then suddenly, the skipper appears very close to him, and look how close Gilligan is. He's within just a few feet of some of these benches. And again, look at the relationship between the back of Skipper and this work bench behind him. And then a few frames later, the bench is no longer behind him. In fact, it looks like it's in front of both of them. On the golfing turf here, we can see the usual grooves in the sod, which is normal when you lay down sod where the edges are, you see these. There's one in the middle that's a little larger than the rest. And then later when we see Gilligan putting with one hand, you see the same groove. And I wonder if it had anything to do with how they got his ball to travel like this. This is a good special effect. There's no strings that I can see. And I'm sure they didn't use stop motion animation because Gilligan and Mr. Howell wouldn't look this natural. There would be jerking and less continuity in their movements, but they look pretty much normal. I wondered if maybe they used magnets or something. I don't know, but this was a good job. And here in the back, we see a very large microphone boom shadow. We'll run this scene slow motion, but it's apparent that Gilligan's fingers are nowhere near the inside of this briefcase when Mr. Howell slams the lid down. And this large clam shell must still have some part of the living clam in it because we can see from this scene to this scene it moves across the table and slammed into the coconut next to it, turning it over. Here is a series of eating continuities. We see Mr. Howell eating and then not eating. And then we see him not eating and eating. Notice a boom shadow in the far upper left of this shot. These following items must have to do with the skipper and Gilligan and the housekeeper they hired that we never see, who must be a busybody. Look at this shelf that the skipper puts his head under and then smacks his head underneath it out of startlement for what Gilligan says. On the left, there's a basket looking item on the top shelf and an entire coconut to the right. Then from this view, from behind the skipper, we can see the basket and what looks like some type of a bowl. And then a bit later, when Gilligan approaches the same shelf, the basket is now clearly moved and the bowl is gone.